Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger Max 28 expandable rucksack. This is Krieger's large capacity urban rucksack that's designed for life in and around the city. It runs their quadlock light harness, which has been really popular on plenty of long-standing Krieger bags. It clips together just here with one clip across the rider's chest. These straps then pull the harness closer to your body to support the bag's weight. The straps are adjustable with three positions to dictate how high or low the bag sits on your back. You feed these padded parts back inside the bag or pull them out and then you set these straps to suit. Using the dots on these straps, you can get it set up so that it's the right height for you and also make sure the bag will sit straight on your back. If you get three dots showing within this slider just here, that puts the bag the lowest on your back. And if you move it so that there's one dot sits within the slider, that's it, it's highest. There's also a clip up waist belt just here, but if you don't want that extra, it's really easy to remove it. There's loads of capacity in this bag and there are lots of pockets on the inside, but there are no pockets on the outside. So thankfully this harness allows you to fit an optional extra Krieger pocket, which will then give you the easiest access to bits and bobs if you want to get to stuff in a real hurry. The padded section that sits against your back on this bag is really different to on other Krieger rucksacks. It's a lot smoother and I find that makes it easier to use as a regular rucksack through the day, not just when riding. And that really fits with the idea of making this bag suit urban life. So moving on to the carrying parts of the bag, let's start with the section that's nearest the rider's back. This is the waterproof compartment and it's protected by this roll top closure that's tried and trusted over several Krieger models over the last decade and more. It's spacious enough to hold a 15 inch laptop and keep it dry when the weather's ropey. There's something I personally like about Krieger's roll top closures is that they roll up and then they clip down to these clasps on the side. So on many bags you roll the top and then clip the two sides together on the top which makes the bag unnecessarily tall in my opinion. It's a poor use of space and I much prefer this arrangement of clipping them to the sides. So if we move to the next section, this is where you find the bulk of the storage space. It's opened with this two-way zip just here. Other Krieger bags have met occasional customer criticism for not having a two-way zip. So here we go, this is the bag for those people. My worry with two-way zips is that the tabs, if you leave them at the top like this, are always vulnerable to opening up in the wind flow and spilling your stuff all over the road probably without you even realizing it's gone. But because this bag has a flap that secures over the top of those tabs, that's not really a concern with this bag. So within that section, if I open this up and show you what's in there. Move that waterproof compartment away because that sits within there. You've got a stretchy fabric section just here that holds things nice and close to your back. There are also tabs just here for a hydro pack, which means you can have easy access to water while you're riding. Krieger make their own hydro packs, or you can fit a more basic one if you don't want to splash out for their really high quality versions. So these Velcro tabs hold the water bladder in place, and then the tube feeds through the space at the top of the bag, and then runs down the harness and can be attached to the harness so you can drink without taking off your lid. This section can also be expanded using this zip around the side. And then by the time you've opened this up, you've got room to fit a complete full face helmet in there. Krieger wanted that capacity to make it easier for commuters and city riders to carry their lid around as they just put it in their bag and carry it that way rather than having to carry a separate lid. The third compartment sits on the outside of that and this is where you'll find enough sections for even the most organised person. Even a professor of organisation will probably be happy with what's going on in here. There are two zip-up pockets just here. There's room for three pens or maybe a tyre pressure gauge or something like that. This Velcro tab will hold some documents or bits and pieces that you need to access really quickly. And then there's another zip section right in the outermost part of the bag for even more documents. If you zip up those three sections and the bag is closed and then you fold over the outer flap and clip it up and secure it. But before you do, there's another zipped document section in this flap itself and that's the easiest part of the bag to get to. So this bag is the answer for people who like Krieger's R30 bag, which has 30 litres of storage, but has the vast majority of those 30 litres all in one waterproof compartment. This one allows us to organise our stuff a bit better and still have some waterproofing from that compartment that's near the rider's back. This one also has a more urban feel and is more comfortable to wear when you're not on the bike. So the back section is softer than the one on the R30, this bit here, 
and the harness is also lighter. It's got one clip where the R30's got two. Perhaps it's really obvious, but the downside is that only one section of this bag is waterproof, whereas the whole bag on the R30 really is waterproof. So the bits on this bag that aren't completely waterproof, I would say they'll still resist a shower and some light rain, but in heavy rain, I wouldn't expect the contents of these main sections to stay completely dry. So something else in my experience of this bag is that there's no really quick access point to stow things you wanna reach in a hurry. The fastest part that you can get to is to undo the two fastening clips and then unzip this pocket on the rear of the flap. But overall, this bag is comfy. It supports the weight really well, which is one of the main strengths of Krieger and always has been, and it's rated well by customers. The Max 28 Expandable was first released in 2020 and we've had six customer reviews since, with all but one of those people giving the bag the maximum five stars. The sixth customer said the waterproof section would benefit from having slightly more room and Krieger must have picked up on that sentiment as this is a revised 2021 version of the bag. There's another centimetre of width and depth to that waterproof roll top closure, making it a bit easier to get things in and it also means that things that are in there sit a little bit lower down for better weight distribution. Finally, we need to cover something we always talk about when we're talking about Krieger, and that's price. This bag, as we record this video, costs £199, which puts it right at the top end of the price scale for rucksacks. But the build quality is right at the top of the scale too, and the level of detail is staggering, with loads and loads of thought going into the design and the construction. Krieger also back up their confidence in build quality with a 10-year warranty. If you ride a lot and you can justify the outlay, or you don't ride much and just want something that's the pinnacle of what's available, then our experience Krieger bags are the ones to go for. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger Max 28 expandable rucksack. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.